Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at a new feature coming to WordPress 5.8 called Block-Based Widgets. It's still early days in the 5.8 testing cycle, but we've had our first release candidate. And I'm running here the WordPress default core theme, the 2017 theme, which I think is the last core theme that has a sidebar. And I'm running the 5.8 release candidate one. WordPress 5.8 is scheduled for release on July 20th. And this is being recorded on July 4th. So there's still a lot of time. And the purpose of this video isn't so much to show you how it's gonna work, but it's more of a heads up for site builders, site admins, and for theme and plugin authors, just to go ahead and get ready and to see what the options are. So here's the sidebar. You can see it's got a search, categories, and meta widgets or blocks here. And if we go to the widgets area, you can see this is different experience now. We've got a Gutenberg editor, and this interface is a little bit different than the one in the customizer. So it's worth taking just a quick look at what there is here. You can click here to go into the customizer for the preview. If you had a block here, then you'd have some block settings. Over here, there's contain text cursor inside block, use theme styles, and display block breadcrumbs. Okay, so that's what we have in this UI. Now, surprise, surprise, there is no sidebar content that we saw on the front end isn't showing here. So there's a little bit of a disconnect, but as I said, there's time to fix this. But let's see what happens if we add something. Let's add a gallery. Okay, so now we've got a gallery in our sidebar. There's no save option because it just happens automatically. So let's go to the front end now and take a look. Nothing's changed. Let's go to Customize and go down to Widgets. And here we see the widgets that we expected to see. In the other screen, here's a search, the categories in Meta. And these are block-based, apparently. And you can add another one here. Yep, here's the block interface. You can show more settings. Here are some settings. Okay, and if we want to add something, we can add a block here. So what happens if we add our gallery here? And let's publish it. And there it is. So they're working in the default 2017 theme in the customizer, but not in the widget area. That's something they'll probably need to fix. I've got a bunch of themes installed. I'm just gonna look at four of the main kind of page builder friendly themes. We have, I have Astra, Bloxy, Cadence, and Page Builder Framework. So let's start with Astra. And let's just take a look at the same thing here. Let's go into the widget area. Okay, so one thing here that's different than the other one is this looks more of the right size. Okay, so let's try just adding our gallery. Now we're seeing it large. Let's try adding a couple of other blocks. Let's add the meta. These are kind of simpler blocks. And the calendar. Okay, again, no saving. Let's go take a look on the front end. So there's the meta categories, search. There's a gallery. Hmm, a little bit of a disconnect here. Let's go into the customizer, see what we see. Go to widgets. I'm clicking to go to widgets. I'm clicking menus. Okay, we got some action there, but kind of the customizer, you know, obviously this is going to need to be updated for WordPress 5.8. And probably what we'll see, yeah, you can see there's some JavaScript errors there. Probably what we're going to see is right before and right after 5.8 is released, we're going to see a lot of themes and plugins get updated for this feature. Things aren't kind of going too smoothly here, but it does get different. Notice I didn't say it gets better. <laughs> Okay, so whatever we set here is gone, and 
we can't get to the widget area in the customizer with Astra. So let's go down to the next one. We'll just go in alphabetical order. I don't really need that. So first let's go to the widget area. This looks very familiar, right? This is the widget. Wait, this is the widget area. <laughs> it's not the blocks in the widget area. But look, there's one block here, and this is the block HTML. This is our gallery, and this is a fallback block. Okay, so let's go look in the customizer to see how it looks there. And again, we've just got the regular widgets. What I found, and they may change this, but I did a search in the Bloxy theme, and they've removed theme support for widget block editor. They were kind of preemptive. They said, hey, we're not quite ready yet. Let's make sure users have a good experience. And so they just turned it off. That's one option for theme authors right now. Of course, everybody hopes that eventually all the themes will support the blocks there, but this is something that theme authors can do right now, just so on day one of 5.8, if you're not quite ready, you don't have users with a problem. So this is the Bloxy theme, and that's the way they're handling it. Let's go and try the next theme on the list, which is Cadence. Let's go to the widget area. And let's add our widgets here, meta, and what I add, calendar, and a gallery. Okay, so that is actually looking pretty good. Let's go take a look on the front end. So we have search, categories, meta, and that. So I think the search, categories, and meta is probably what I had selected before 5.8. So there's a little disconnect there. Let's go, I'm just curious, let's go back into the widget area. Did it save these blocks there? No. Okay, let's go to the live preview, see what we see there. Okay, so I don't want the categories block. I don't really want the search block, but I'd like that calendar, please. So we have these controls, just like I moved it up and down, and it's showing here. Let's publish that and go out. So there's still a disconnect here with the Gutenberg editor version of the widget area. I think the Cadence customizer experience is probably the closest to what we might normally expect to experience. All right, let's go now and try the page builder framework theme you know, we're seeing things that maybe aren't working, but you know, we shouldn't think that the theme authors aren't busy preparing. People probably roll out changes right before and right after 5.8, but I'm just kind of pointing out maybe for site builders or site admins that there are some changes coming. And at the end, I'm gonna show a couple of options for what you can do if we're not ready for block-based widgets, even if the theme is ready. Okay, but anyway, here we are with the page builder framework. Let's go to the widget area. We'll add our meta. We'll add our calendar. We'll add our gallery. Okay, let's go check it on the front end. Meta, calendar, gallery. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That worked in the widget area. Let's go back to the widget area. Did it save it there? Well, it's not showing there and we do have it here. The page builder framework is even a step up maybe from Cadence. So I wanna check out now some block plugins and let's try adding some regular blocks. These are core blocks, so I would think they would work. I'm gonna add, let's try Cadence first. I have Cadence ones installed. Let's add the testimonial block from Cadence. And let's pick one of the pre-designed views here. We'll go with this one, looks like a simple one. We'll select an image. This is actually author images, but let's just take one. Okay, and let's add in some text. This is great. I like this product. Someone, somewhere. Here is our testimonial block. It's not showing the image, but it's showing the text 
there. Let's try saving, publishing it, and going out of the customizer to check. See if it shows up there if we refresh. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. So the cadence testimonial block worked well there. Let's go back now and try, I think we have stackable and does stackable have, let's try testimonial. Yeah, stackable has a testimonial block. And so it's giving us two there by default. Let's see if we can get that down to one here, which is all it's going to fit in the sidebar. And let's go with plain. Keep it simple. Now let's add some, looks like that text is going to stay there. So let's pick an image and give it a name. Hmm. Whoops, what happened there? I think I double clicked on it. Here we go. So let's publish that and take a look. And that's showing. So that's kind of cool. Before we go out, I want to try the Quibbly testimonial block. And let's just see if they have other layouts that might be simpler. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So let's go back here and take a look. Huh. We got several things in here. I don't want the second one. How do we get rid of it? Let's go back and take a look. Huh. That's adding more. Okay, I don't see how to remove those. All right, so I think we're kind of out of luck on this one. See if maybe we just have to get up here to a higher block. We can remove that one. There we go. Okay, let's try adding one again. Okay, there's the testimonial block. Add an image, not here. More feature, let's see. Guess it's an avatar. Pick a different person. We'll use this author. Okay, that looks nice. Save that. Uh-oh. It didn't show in the sidebar. I'm not going to show everything that I tried to get that to work, but I wasn't able to get this to function at all in the sidebar. That's kind of a quick look at adding a block from different Gutenberg add-ons. Now, I mentioned that there were some things that maybe you could do if you weren't ready for block-based widgets. And I know there's somebody there thinking, I've got the classic editor plugin activated. I don't have to worry about this, do I? And I think you classic editor, nope, you get this anyway. So let's go customize. Okay, so even though you have Gutenberg disabled, you still get Gutenberg for managing widgets. Okay, so that answers that question. Let's disable that. Now, the core team did release a plugin called Classic Widgets. And so if you're not ready for block-based widgets, maybe for your clients, then you can install the Classic Widget plugin. And now if we go to the widget screen, we have our default good old widget screen. Note that we have these kind of default fallback blocks. If you install the classic widget plugin, then you wouldn't have these to deal with. So that's that option. So first, block-based widgets is opt out. You get it no matter where you want it or not. And there are a few different ways you can opt out. We saw how Bloxy is disabling the feature for their theme at the moment. We saw the classic widgets plugin. And if we look on the Make WordPress Core blog, they have some more information that might be useful. Okay, this is what Bloxy team is doing. Sci Administrator can use a new filter. 
to turn it off. Okay, so if you're using like code snippets or something like that, don't want to install a plugin, then maybe you can just use this filter. That's the walkthrough. Now for some discussion and conclusions. Up to now, what I've heard about this new feature, the ability to use blocks in the widget area, is just how much more flexible that will be for end users. And I can see that. The testimonial blocks, the ones that worked, were attractive. And this new feature unlocks more design and layout options. However, what I haven't heard is just how big a change this really is. This is opt out. There are three options for doing so. The theme can disable the feature like we saw with Bloxy. There's a filter you can apply and there's a plugin to disable it, but you have to take some action. Remember, none of the themes functioned fully on the dedicated widgets page, which means what? That every single currently on offer theme has to be updated to make it work? That's pretty big. As we saw with the Quibbly testimonial block, not all blocks show correctly in the sidebar. So there is work for at least some plugin authors. Now, I was using three core blocks, which presumably had been tested to work in the widget areas. I also used testimonial blocks, which are a step up in complexity from the simple core blocks. I tested, but did not show doing crazy things like adding blocks for rows and columns. And as you can imagine, it was unwieldy if it worked at all. We all know that end users will try to use any block shown, so there's really no way to exclude a block or mark it as unsuitable for a widget area. In terms of user experience, we have a choice between the customizer, where you can see what the content will look like, but there's not enough room for navigating all the settings panels. Currently, things seem to work better in the customizer. Or alternatively, you have the dedicated widgets page where the size shown doesn't correspond to the actual width in the sidebar. And you can't see the two together to see what the final result will look like. Neither option is ideal, but probably not horrible, assuming that things are polished up. Theme and plugin authors, site builders, site owners have time, but action is necessary. It's probably a good idea to check if your theme is going to be ready or if there's something you need to do. So that's my look at the blocks-based widget editor coming in WordPress 5.8. Hope you found the video useful. There are more tutorials, reviews, and resources available on the WebTNG website. Thank you for watching.